Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and in this video we're going to talk about uh, anemia with the body. Anemia, where the red blood cell, the hemoglobin, is diseased. It's not able to uh, have enough oxygen inside the red blood cell, and then the red blood cell can't deliver the oxygen to the tissues, whether it's the brain, the nerve, all tissues of the body. Excuse me, when the hemoglobin uh, is not at normal levels between a 12 and a 15. The body uh, it can't get oxygen and the tissues break down and we have malfunction. So I got to examine a man who's in his 90s and he's got anemia. He's been on iron, um, multiple vitamins and medications. He's already had a, a TIA um, on more than one occasion. And you know, what's interesting about him looking at his blood test is his iron levels are perfectly normal. His iron is normal. His B vitamins are normal. And the doctors can't figure out why he's anemic. So there's nothing to offer him from their standpoint. Maybe a blood transfusion. He doesn't want that. So I'm going to share with you my findings here in this video of what I discovered in my recent examination with him. And then as we go through treatment, uh, we're going to, as we see the improvement with this hemoglobin on the blood test, I'll be reporting back to you and letting you see the before and after of his blood tests so that you can see the proof of this kind of work that I offer, this very unique work I offer. In his hemoglobin, my examination showed that he's got food additives and preservatives. These are poisonous chemicals like BHT preservative that's in certain cereals, like MSG. It is a neurotoxic substance. These are in his hemoglobin. I found a mercury compound in his hemoglobin. I found vaccinations in his hemoglobin, affecting the hemoglobin, robbing its ability to function the way it's supposed to. I found parasitic flukes affecting that hemoglobin, robbing its ability to function normally. I found multiple parasitic infections in there, robbing the hemoglobin's ability of functioning normally. I found multiple high levels of multiple molds and fungus in his hemoglobin, robbing the hemoglobin's ability of functioning normally. I found antibiotic residues inside the hemoglobin, inside the red blood cell, robbing the hemoglobin's ability from functioning normally, causing an anemia pattern to show in a blood test and it's not caused by a B vitamin deficiency, and it's not caused by an iron deficiency. They're normal on his blood test. Multiple iatrogenic chemicals, cancer-causing chemicals that are found like pesticides and fluoride from toothpaste, and, and there's a number of things. Birth control pills that could be in the water from, uh, from, from, from just things that are dumped into the water supply, and jet fuel that's falling out of the sky. These are poisons that get into the food supply, that get in the water supply. I find multiple iatrogenic chemicals in his hemoglobin. I found an infection from the mouth, and he's missing most of his teeth, not all of them, but most of them. Infection from the mouth in the hemoglobin, viruses affecting his hemoglobin, and the Lyme, a very low, low, low level of the Lyme infection called Borrelia burgdorferi. That bacteria is also inside the red blood cell, robbing the hemoglobin's ability to have normal oxygen levels and bring normal oxygen to tissues. So would a person's skin appear more pale when they don't have an oxy enough oxygen to tissue? Yes, when they're anemic. Would a person be weaker when they don't have enough hemoglobin, high enough hemoglobin levels? Yes. Will the person's brain function normally when there is anemia? The brain can't function normally. The thyroid can't function normally. None of the systems can function normally when this is going on poisons, infections inside the hemoglobin, robbing the hemoglobin's ability to function normally. We're going to see this man, we're going to see him looking younger, feeling younger, acting younger, no doubt, when we clean these out of his tissues. So how are we going to do this? Like cures like. There is a way that I can actually make copies into remedies, make copies of these different infections and toxins, and deliver him these gentle remedies where it will go directed to the hemoglobin of the blood cell and pull those infections and toxins out of there and allow his body to start to recuperate and heal itself. His body will do the job. His body is going to heal itself. No medicine is doing this for him. We're going to get the job done. I'm going to help him get the job done. 
There are also some boosting remedies of the hemoglobin that's really going to help him help himself get a jump start to that hemoglobin and start to repair itself. That might be a bit uh, too much for this discussion. Maybe we have to go into a little bit greater detail to help you understand. Some people are ready to jump on this and understand and ready to make a change in their life. Others are going to doubt. Others are going to live in a world of disbelief and a world of, of, of not understanding the properties of physics and how, how energies of all things on this planet, all matter is energy, and how we can actually use the sample of the tissue to help the body heal itself. And that's what's going to take place for him. So for those of you who are willing to listen to this type of information and, and get the message that I'm sharing with you, there is a very unique way to help your body heal itself. There is a very unique way that you can actually repair damaged tissues. And, uh, and I'm here to help you do that. So I will report back in video form when I see him uh, progress with this care. We are integrating this with his medical practitioners because he's on blood pressure medication. He's on blood thinner. He's, he's, he's on different meds. And it's really important because the work that I'm offering him is very powerful and directed for, for specific things at this point of, of, of the care program for him, directed to his bloodstream. And since he's on blood pressure medication and blood thinners, we've got to make sure that as, that as we fix the problems inside his, his bloodstream and his blood vessels, that the blood pressure medication doesn't make it, his blood pressure drop too low. Because when that happens, if that would happen, we're at great risk of, of, of having a, a, serious, a serious situation developing. So I've got to integrate my work with his medical practitioner. That's, that way, if there is some strange development or loss of energy with him and his blood pressure starts to drop, we need to have those doctors there ready to start uh, um, uh, using blood test analysis and using uh, their, their ability to start managing him with, with decreasing the blood pressure medication. And I expect his blood pressure medication to be decreased if even totally eliminated with this work. So thank you for watching this video. Share this with a friend. Share this with just one friend. And that's not too hard to do. And uh, click the subscribe button on my YouTube channel. I'm always putting just amazing information of discoveries that I uh, do in my clinic and, and patient uh, care and, and patient uh, reversals of their disease and their blood disorders and so on. And um, if you're ready to get started with a different way of helping yourself, when the medicine has not worked for you, when the medications don't work and you're ready to step outside the paradigm that you've been following, that you believe in, I'm here to help you. My office number is 954-370-3100. And um, come look for me on my Facebook page. I'm putting information up there on a daily basis. And I'll put that information here on the screen and underneath this video. And uh, I look forward to helping you. Thanks a lot.